Hi everyone. Welcome back to math. We're going to continue going back and decomposing numbers again. And today we're going to talk about these two numbers. We're going to talk about a one and a six and a one and a seven. Do you know what those numbers are? Which one would come first if we're counting? In counting order, 16 would come first and then 17. One six and one seven. Those are our numbers for today. Let's go ahead and get started. You will be on page 397, lesson 7.7. .7. I want you to notice, I don't just have one 10 frame today. I have two 10 frames. They, we were just adding numbers before. Now we have two 10 frames. What do you think would happen if both of my 10 frames were full? Do you know how many counters we would have? If you can count by tens, I think you can figure it out. 10 and 10 more, 10, 20, if we filled it all. We're not gonna fill it today, but we're working towards that. Let's go ahead and draw in 16 counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. 16. You know what 16 looks like? It's a one and a six. I want you to add one more counter. I'm gonna use a different color. If I added one more, what's one more than 16? It would be 17. You notice how many are empty when you have 17. We talked about that when we were using single digits. Let's go ahead and go on to the next page, 398. I know, you're, I know you're a pro at this, but this is a new number. This is the number 16. 16, S-I-X-T-E-E-N, a one and a six. You can see they kind of already did that 10 for you up here, sorting it out. And then there's five and one more. So 10, five, one, one, six is 16. Let's go ahead and draw 16 counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now when we break it up, we still have a set of 10 ones up here. Don't be tricked just because they're putting it into a frame. These are still by themselves. It's not a whole 10 frame. So 16 would be 10 ones and then one, two, three, four, five, six more ones as well. All right, let's go on to the next page. I bet you know what's coming up on the next page. Well, you can see it. <laughs> I, I have to turn my page, you can see it. It's the number 17. Same as before, 17, S-E-V-E-N-T-E-E-N, -E -E 17. Seven, teen, three syllables, lots of letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters in that number, 17. We're using red apples today to count to show that there are 17 objects. Go ahead and trace your 17, your one and your seven. I like to do that rectangle to help me remember that's 10. Let's go ahead and 10, count them, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's move them down into our 10 frame with counters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Okay? So when we look, we're gonna break it into two groups here. We have how many counters here? There are ten. So 17 is made up of 10 ones, and how many more ones here? Seven. 17 is made up of 10 ones and seven ones, and we can put them together to make 17. 
Okay, let's go on to our very last page today. Do you know that number at the bottom of the page? It is a four and a zero and a zero. Do you know what that is? If you said 400, you are correct. We are on this page and number seven, we are going to count out 16 uh, beads to make our bracelet today. So we still can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, and then we'd need one more to make 16. Remember, these are sets of five. So five, 10, 15, and one more would make 16 when we're counting. So go ahead and circle those 16 beads. And you know my question, don't you? Which one has more? Are there more blue beads or more yellow beads? There are more blue beads. There are five, 10, 10 blue beads, and only five, six yellow. So we will circle the blue bead because there are more blue beads in our bracelet than there are yellow. And last but not least, we have our equation down here. We're going to talk about the number 16. That means we need to draw 16 counters. We want to draw it neatly so that we can see it, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's getting tricky here, isn't it? We're running out of room. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and one more would make 16. I think it's important that you, if you see a set of 10, let's go ahead and group that set of 10 together. It'll help us when we're breaking it apart. So if we have the number 16, 16 is the same as or equal to how many ones are in that group? There are 10 plus how many are in this group or set? Six. So 16 is equal to 10 ones and six ones. Now there are other ways we could break it apart, but we're wanting to talk about seeing a set of 10, which will help us count quicker, um, 10 and six to equal 16. Using that 10 helps us keep it together and understand um, sets a little bit better uh, and decomposing. So today we talked about the numbers, fifth, or I'm sorry, 16 and 17. Sorry, I couldn't remember. 16 and 17 today, and we will continue tomorrow. We've got 18 and 19 left to go. See you tomorrow with math.